Thursday. That means it's time for Ask Ellen. First, though, special shout out to Bill. Our first ever question sent in by Snail Mail. Thanks for that. His question is about the storm prediction maps that we see released by the National Weather Service. So the different colors show which level of threat. But if you look closer, you can see arrows on the ridges of those boundaries. So Ellen, Bill wants to know what those arrows tell us. It was very exciting to get a handwritten note, by the way, with an Ask Ellen question. So very, very cool. And this question is basically for those of you that are hardcore weather fans, because most of us don't look at the Storm Prediction Center Outlook maps. But just for those of you that want to know, the Storm Prediction Center is a center located in Norman, Oklahoma. And out of the entire country, they are responsible, they're a government agency for issuing outlooks for today and then several days out as to where storms might form, especially severe storms. So these are the experts in the country when it comes to severe weather. So they frequently will make maps that look like this. And when they put these outlooks out, You'll notice some spots have bullseyes, so if you just look at it, you can kind of uh, intuitively know that severe weather is likely going to happen in the bullseye area. But again, what is it about these arrows? Because sometimes they're drawn in a counterclockwise way, and sometimes they're drawn in a clockwise way. So Bill wanted to know, is there any significance to that? I reached out to some forecasters that would know that work alongside some of those in the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, about the direction of the arrows, and they said, uh, it's just computer coding. So basically, if you look at it, it shades the area to the right of basically a line from 50 miles north northeast to HLA. So they gave me the scripts that you can match along with the map. So the answer is it doesn't matter. Clockwise, counterclockwise, oh. they're just arrows. I thought it was going to be some <laughs> big, exciting discovery. Right. I was really excited, too. Yeah. All right. So if you have a weather question for Ellen, just let us know. Send an email or snail mail. You can send that email to <laughs> seven at woodtv.com or tag Ellen on social media.